Danger Song Craps Dice Game Control Sets. Danger Song Craps Dice Game Control Sets. Okay, guys, back again. Uh, this episode uh, 196, we're going to be doing a Super Grip. Uh, that's what I've been doing over the weekend, just warming up the Super Grip, really dialing in. Uh, using the 6454, very stable uh, dice set. And we're using the finger like this, single finger. You know, up front, not a two finger, which would keep the dice tight, fly, tighter flying through the air. I don't want them to stay that tight, not that tight. But uh, we're going to use like this, guys. I believe that'll capture that. And when we throw it, we'll kind of lift like that, kind of give it that action like that. We're going to give it like a push, 45 degree angle. And we're looking to bring it up, get a nice little loop, land it. And we're going to be specific here, guys. I want you to try this. We're going to land this thing specifically two to three inches out from the wall. No more, no closer. That's the range you want. You don't want four inches out. You don't want to be one inch away from the wall. Like you want to literally be two to, I mean, it's a tight little range. You know, you want to be two to three inches out from the wall on this one. And we're just being real specific on this. And we'll be throwing a game. I didn't really get the info out. Uh, about the super grip like I really wanted to, but um, we're going to be doing probably some uh, other uh, <clears throat> other uh, videos with that because I tell you what, I really want to turn you guys on to the super grip. It's really, I mean, it's, uh, you know how much I like it, but when you dial it in and you actually get, you know, you land it where you're supposed to be landing it down there and you see I've got this uh, irritating person right here. They're right in my landing zone. You know, it's directly, that's a straight line where I do, so, you got where I throw, so, uh, and land it. So, and these chips are six inches out, okay? We've got a pass line, and we've got a don't pass, or we got two pass lines. We've got two people out there. One has no odds. The other has odds. The one that has the odds are six inches out. So, just to let you know, remember, we want it two to three inches from the wall. In that has to be in that range. I mean, it's a really tight range. So that's out further. That's a 10. Flip the chip. But, uh, oh, damn, flipped over. But anyhow, so that's what we're going to be showing in this one, guys. And I'll be coming to you with some more, showing you this super grip because it is just deadly. Before this video earlier today, um, shit, I got up, man. First damn time with the dice. Pissed again. 46. Unbelievably irritating. That should be a good one. See that? It's a 10. Par. Got down there on that one. So that's what we're going to be doing, guys. This is just the intro. Come on in. Danger on craps. We'll see you on the other side. Remember, two to three inches. Very specific. Very specific on the set. In grip, guys. See you on the other side. Hey guys, CK back again. I just wanted to show you something before we get on to this game real quick. Uh, just wanted to show you a little bit of what we did earlier, what we're working on. Uh, I'm going to shoot this little quick one just to let our viewers know, you know, what we're actually doing today. You know, uh, Cena's a little bit busy right now, so, and uh, we're working around the house. I uh, actually got my wood here, my wood piece. A wood piece, guys. Cheap old wood, that's some wood that someone's throwing it out. So I got my cuts. I want to be thick, uh, cutting that. I got my everything outside ready. Go ahead and cut that. Then we're going to set them down. Uh, then we're going to put just a little thin layer across it so we can do a uh, you know, hard top and do some uh, videos on the hard top. Show you all these array of uh, nasty grips we got to show you guys. And uh, so you can see how they perform, and we can see how they perform on hard tables too. So it's been a while. So, you know, we're going to be having fun with that. But we th ended up throwing a 33 earlier today. We had a 14 and we threw a 33. Our 14, we ended up doing uh, four uh, eights and three nines. I'm only showing you guys this so you could see, you know, what come what I was working with. You know, I ended up throwing a 33. I was using the, the new grip for a little bit. You know, this one here. <clears throat> Funny, yo. I guess I had them set up. But uh, anyway... So I was, you, you know, throwing that grip, and I threw a 14 or 15. 
15. But all my numbers are pretty much like 8, 9, and uh, in the inside, inside here. Can't remember what dice that I was using. But today we're going to be using the 6, 4, 5, 4. And uh, I went to a super grip my very next uh, throw, and I threw a 36 here. So end up throwing uh, three points with the 6. I wish I would have gotten on film too. I just had to tell you because it's just ridiculous. You know, like what goes on, I don't get on film. I just wish I could get everything on film, but can't keep the camera rolling all day, whatever. But we threw a point of a nine. We threw uh, three points, eight, three uh, points on the six, and a point on the five. So it threw a total of uh, eight points, but it was incredible because I couldn't believe I was stoned. And I was like, what the hell? I'd throw. Then I was stoned Cadillac. I threw a yeah, point right after right where I throw eight, throw a point, another eight. You know, throw a five, throw another five, you know, throw a nine, you know, throw a nine. So, but at first I saw I was on the eights. I was stuck on the eight. And I have like seven eights here and seven sixes. I, th I rolled also. So, but uh, I just want to tell you guys that what we're doing there earlier for this one. So now we've got a $66 bankroll. You gotta just wait one second. We'll, uh, I'll be right back and we'll clear this up. $66 bankroll. Super grip. 6454. Well, if you guys want to see the super grip, I mean, those of you that like super grip out there, all you got to do is, uh, you know, send us a text on our, our, our last video or, you know, whatever, and, uh, you know, we'll do it. But uh, what we're going to do, we got $66 here. Our bankroll. 66 or 66 or 50 What we're going to do, we're going to go up on the pass line, get this thing cracking. Got a six for deuce. A weekend special for our uh, regular viewers. You know, I had nothing but love for you. I'm telling you. I want to see you winning out there, man. Even our new viewers now. I'm not hating on you. I'm forgetting about you. New viewers. We're having a lot of new viewers coming in. And we appreciate that, guys. Appreciate, uh, you know, nice comments and things. So we've got uh, 36 now, guys. What we're doing, we've got 10. This is our field bet. You know, we don't have the, the whatever. It doesn't matter. What matters is the rolling. You know, the simulation. And the table actually matches, like the balance matches the casinos. That's what's is key with this soft, kind of hard, uh, soft, kind of firm, uh, but bouncy, you know, because it will bounce and go up and hit the wall, you know, which would, you know, simulate going out at the casino. So and that does happen on those tables. It's irritating. But uh, 18 on the 8, 18 on the 6, 10 on the infield. And we're rolling. we got a uh, .6. $66 starting uh, roll, bank roll, game roll. Now with this throw, we want to be very specific this time when we're rolling this and let you know we're looking to drop this thing. What's that? No further out than three inches. No further out than three inches, guys. It's got to be in that range in three inches on this uh, six five or six four five four. So we got paid a 10 on that one. So <clears throat> we're gonna move. So we got paid 10. We'll move our field bet. We'll move up to the five. See, we gotta close that gap. We wanna avoid that five. You know, the first roll there. We'll drop off, uh, we'll drop these guys down to a 12. We'll take that extra 10, put up on the four. Bank the two. And we're back rolling, guys. Now we're up on everything pretty much. Trying to make some money. There goes that three, one, four, three, one, four. Just in time. Just in time. We didn't buy it though. We're just on a place bet on it. It's okay. I know that you get better odds, but I'm doing a video here, guys, and I just want to keep. You know what I'm saying? I mean, this is reality here. And I gotta, because in the casino, you don't want to do a bunch of thinking and all that. You want to be like automatic. So we got a four. That's uh, we're pay nine to five. Pays nine to five. So. Got two units, we get paid uh, 18 on that. And let's just uh, let's go ahead and rack that. Rack that all the way up. 25. Let's 
go 25 on it. Okay. Aren't those? Okay. With this grip, I really am trying to get into a rhythm. You know, just you know, throwing them down there. Damn, damn it. I was going to go up on the 10. You sucker. Ah. It's okay. I didn't want to split it. I should have, though. It's okay. It's too far out. Ah. I didn't like that far out, though. I didn't like it. It's not where you want it, guys. But we can work with it. We can work with that. That's going to pay us uh, 14. We'll take 15. Give the bank one. Casino one. Rack that five up. Rolling. We're shooting at uh, nine. We're standing at nine. Arms at about eight and a half here. So you can see it in the video. Six. Hole. Six. Hole. That's a point. You get paid on the pass line. A little double win. Like seeing it. Let's see, we'll pay that even money pass line. See, we've got ten dollar pass line over there. Just say we just moved it out from the left, so you guys can see that. Move it back. We're paying that pass line the ten. We'll move that up on the uh, on the ten, and now we'll get paid on the. Uh, Twelve dollar uh, six. We'll pay fifteen on that. We'll take fifteen, pay him back one. That's what we did there. Fault. It's kind of moving there. And we'll actually we need to make change now. Make change. And we're gonna go up to another twelve on that six. Rolling. Come out, roll. It's a little deeper than I like. I mean, a little bit uh, shorter than I like. 415. Did we throw another short one? That was a five, also. So that's a point. No. What's it saying? Is it recording? Okay, it's saying caution something. Damn it. Oh, what the hell? I'm saying, man. This thing recording. Shit. What? Maybe it's heating up. I don't know, man. Shit. Okay, I'll just. Damn it. I don't know if these phones, man. Strong. Four. Three. One. Okay, now we've got a nice little $25 four. It pays nine to five odds on that one. Oops, sorry, it's probably a little quick. This camera's got me jumpy, guys, so try to really move on what it was saying. It went away, I see ya. Yeah, so it's gonna pay us up 45 on that. That's a nice little hit. Five, 35, 45. Wow, so that's a double. Okay, that's it, guys. I didn't realize that. That's a double, so we're gonna pull the money down. Didn't even realize that. There we start with sixty-six. No reason. Going up, I mean, and that to me, but we'll just keep rolling for a second. I mean, don't be afraid to take that uh profit though. You know, what I mean, that's a three. I mean, take that profit like I'm showing you guys right now. You see, I'm a little bit hesitant, but you know, go ahead, take that profit, man. Never with that, that's okay. I mean, we only start with 66 anyway. Seven out. Seven out. So quick seven out. Quick seven out. 
Bad roll. Bad roll. Man, that was a low roll, too. It's three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Whew. Damn. Eight rolls. Holy moly. Okay, guys, that was eight. That was a quickie, too, man. That's, that's probably the lowest I've ever rolled there in a long time. What the hell that was? But, let's see, 25, 45, 55, 65. 66. So even with that little low roll, this is going to be perfect, guys. 66. 25, 35, 45, 55, 65, 65. 35, 45, 55, 65, 66. So we start with house takes our $10 pass line. Hey, that was a low roll right there. Woo, buddy. I mean, I really thought I was going to roll a couple more, but yeah, it's... happens, though. It happens. Here's what we made on that low roll. Here, guys. Hundred and three. Eight rolls. Yeah, I guess I don't know, man. You know, it's no excuse, but punk ass camera, man. I know what the hell this thing's doing, man? Said unable to something. So I hope it even recorded this. So you know, it's just the real raw shit. You know, I mean, that's another reason why there's no reason to keep going because I hit a double, take the money. There's just too much shit going on, man. Too much shit, and that's what I'm saying. You know, all that crap happening, man. It, it happens. I mean, it's you know, dangerous arm. I mean, you know, whatever. But you just seen how it goes. You seen how it goes, but we have minimal money. I mean, this is why this video is going to be golden for you guys. You guys get a chance to see me roll some low, low shit. That's not even that's that's under my average on that super grip, by the way. Super grip normally is in uh, the doubles, but you know, if you look at the overall average of things, it will fall right into place. Actually, you know, what I mean, just happened to be on film today, and you know, well, you know, I'm not concerned with that because you guys know how it is out there rolling. I mean, I'm not trying to. You know, oh, I just only roll, you know, whatever. No, I mean, shit happens. I mean, shit just happened. You know, I lost focus for a quick second. You know, think about the camera and, you know, everything else that I'm thinking about. No excuses. I mean, there's no excuses, but, you know, uh, you can't let anything get in your way. You know, I mean, you got to be laser focused. But what's nice is, is all the shit I am doing at the casino, I'm not going to have to do any of that. I just can be a machine. You know, I'll just show you guys, which makes it super difficult. So you can imagine. So, but we hit 103, guys. 25. See, 10, 20, 25. 50, 100, 3. So, you know, we start with 66. We doubled our money. Yeah, more than doubled our money. So, that's what that is, guys. There's a quick little ditty. Just wanted to show you. Uh, I wasn't trying to 7 out in uh, 8 little punk-ass rolls, but... Uh, <sighs> Entertaining, but it's not about that. That's what the lesson is on this one. It's not about that. I told you about the long rolls. Now you had a chance to see what I'm talking about. So this is actually perfect. I mean, probably I don't see me rolling any more like that. I mean, it could. I mean, I could do it, whatever. But uh, it doesn't. You know, I mean, because I did roll that nice 33, like right, you know, before this, you know, 14 and 33. So, and in which I knew, see, I knew that I should put the camera on on the 33. I knew that. So. You know, these are the waves, you know, that I mean, that does happen. I believe in that, that you can, you know, because of your focus, you know, you're only going to have so much damn focus. I mean, our first roll, I rolled a 14. When I rolled a 33, I was really kind of like, so I don't know about you guys, but, you know, after I roll, you know, a big roll, I'm kind of like, I don't know, man. It's like, you know, it's like a big release for me. You know what I mean? It's not, I mean, it's like riding a, like a good bull ride or something and you made it. You know what I mean? You made it through the eight seconds. I think it's eight seconds seven or eight seconds, you know, so it's like, whew, you know, you're just not ready to get right back on the bull, although I can, but, you know, my, and I do, but my focus, you know, and I roll up, roll like that, you know, uh, it's just such a tight focus that goes into it, because you're not just sitting there just throwing a dice, just like, whew, you know, you're actually like setting the dice, thinking, okay, are my fingers tight, are there, you know, thinking, okay, fingers tight, uh, thumb tight, you know, everything tight, the dice even, they flush, everything going in, you know, and then finally, 
you know, releasing and hoping that you'll have a, you know, a nice release and not this crazy ass throw. So, so, you know, it takes a lot, man. It takes a lot. I'm not going to kid you, but, uh, you know, the focus is certainly is a factor, but I only want to come to you guys and, uh, show you a quick one, Diddy. I know I'm sound like a broken record, but again, I think that was excellent that we uh, had that little, I can't I recount that, man. Maybe. Look, look at that back on film, man. It seems like that was more than that, but, you know. Oh, yeah, it is more than that. Uh -huh. I didn't hit that. I didn't put my, uh, I, I didn't mark that four, that double four that I know I hit. You guys see me hit. Okay. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, so I might have missed something, but two, four, six, eight, nine is what I'm looking at right now. So, you know, whatever. The super grip normally, you know, is in, is in the double digits, you know. Um, average, I'd say from this position, from this position, oh, double digit to 13, 14 range, you know, kind of thing, you know. So, I mean, it's no excuse, guys, but, you know, uh, think about that next time if, if you're a consistent roller, sorry, new people, sorry about that, but you have to be kind of consistent so you'll be able to, that's always talk about consistency. If you're consistent, you'll be able to really gauge your throne. You'll be able to really like advance, you know, in this thing, you know, in this game here, this uh, control game, the dice game, making money uh, consistently. Um, you know, you're going to be able to notice, you know, the waves, the patterns, you know, so, you know, next time you roll a big one out there, guys that are uh, gals that are consistent, that you know, you have a consistent role. You roll, you know, how you see me roll regularly, you know what I mean? That kind of thing, you know, uh, whenever you roll over and over and over, I mean, if once you roll a big roll, you know, just think about the focus that you're going to, you know, think about, just think about how you're focusing on your next one. Just try to like keep in mind of that focus because that's what that. That's what that's kind of like, you know, after you roll a big one, it's a, it's a tall order to come back, roll other big ones. That's why it's, it's pretty impressive. Full press has done it. You know, I know Dominator's done it. I mean, I've done it, but I mean, you know, it's not about me. I'm just saying that, you know, people who have done it like full press, uh, Dominator, things like that. Anyone that like has done the big roll and throw another one back, you know, right after that. I mean, that's, that's a hell of a thing. That's big concentration. You know, they're not just throwing the, you know, no one's just throwing the dice. You know, you're concentrating. You know, we're not just picking up the dice and throwing them. No, that's not dice control. Dice control is, is okay. Middle, like here. Here's what's going through my mind, real quick. We'll just, I'll just talk what's going through my mind as I'm setting the dice. That's already there that I don't think about. That's just so many times doing it. Okay, fingers tight. Like fingers tight. Dice tight. Make sure the dice are tight, staying together. They're even, even. You know, all the way, all the way around, bottom to top, thumb all the way down. Pinky all the way down, squeezing the thumb, sque you know, squeezing the uh, these two in like this, making sure I have a little bit of curvature on my thumb, making sure my fingers are on the edge. I'm just saying what would, what used to go through my head. Arm straight, a little bit of bend, release, not too much, easy, all that shit. You see what I mean? So when you do that over and over and over, even though we're not thinking about it, I mean, it still plays on you because you're still thinking about it on, on some kind of level, subconscious level. So I'm just putting it out there for you guys. Uh, I might chop a little bit of the, the dead space up on that one, but I think I, I did get that out pretty good, uh, what I wanted to say. It's not easy rolling big rolls and coming back and rolling uh, big rolls again or, or whatever. <clears throat> You'll notice a wave, and the wave, it, you're not thrown because you're shitty or because you're cold. I truly believe it's because of what is your focus. What is your focus? I mean, it's just like winning a big game and then you try to go play another big game. That shit just don't happen. And you're like, oh, yeah, no, you're not going to be on the level for the most part. For the most part. 100% of the time for the most part because it, you know, because of what you've done. You see what I mean? Because it's, you know, the drilling, everything coming together. You know, it can be done, but I'm just saying the focus has to be tremendous. So, hey, CK from Danger Song. It's our rolling, guys. It's another one. We'll try to chop the, the yappy doodle down. I hate it myself. Start off with 66, end it with 103. Dangerous on craps. See you next time. Thanks for viewing, guys.